Hey everybody, it's Fair Sue. Welcome back to my channel. I surrender. I completely give up. Um, I quit. <laughs> I have been natural since 1998. I've had about four or five big chops. I've had about three relapses back to relaxer. You name it, I've tried it. I've bought thousands and thousands upon dollars of natural hair care products. And um, you know what? I quit. I surrender. Like, white flag is completely up, waving like I've done everything. I've bought everything. And this next picture that I'm about to show you is why I quit. Like, I'm so tired. Um, I feel that I've researched to the ends of the earth. I feel that I've done every every commercially available item um, to try to get these curls to pop, to try to get my natural hair to do what everybody else does. And, you know, when I say I've tried everything, like, I feel that whenever customers would come to me and say, I've tried everything, and I always feel like in the back of my mind, that's not true. And you know what? It is. When you say that you've tried everything, no, you haven't. You've tried everything that you wanted. You've tried everything that you think. But what you've got to do is leave yourself open. Leave yourself open to the possibility that you have not tried everything. And guess what? After 18 years of this natural hair life, I can admit I haven't tried everything. But you know what? I'm about to try my last ditch effort. Um, so I'm about to go into this water only washing adventure. Um, one of my girlfriends was talking about it and I was like, you know, Maybe I should look into this. And then after this last round of Sebderm outbreak, I'm like, you know, when is enough enough? When do you get so fed up that even when you tried everything that you've thought of, um, you're willing to just be open to trying that one more new thing? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do water only. And I'm so excited. So I'll catch you up to what I've been doing lately. I have um, clarified my scalp. I shampooed with a um, Seborg Dermatitis shampoo. It is by Nioxin. It's kind of pricey, but I just wanted to do like one last hurrah of it. And so I shampooed with that. And then what I've done is apple cider vinegar. Y'all know I do my apple cider vinegar ACV rinse. And um, so I did this. <clears throat> starting Friday morning. So Friday morning, washed my hair with the shampoo, did the apple cider vinegar rinse. Um, I did the same thing this morning and I just let my hair air dry. And then I was watching TV with my baby and I um, just put some two strand twists in. I didn't use a comb, I didn't use a brush. I didn't really do anything that I normally do to do my twists. I just took my fingers and made some twists and but you know and there's no products. I just used oils um, because I'm gonna like leave my scalp alone. I'm not gonna put anything on my scalp. Like nothing is going on to the scalp. Um, it just needs to heal and recuperate and just get over this latest subderm outbreak. Um, so I'm going to be leaving my scalp completely clear. I'm only going to be putting oils only on the length. And that's going to be the extent of it. Um, y'all know I have my own product line. I have shampoos and conditioners that are all plant-based and natural. I have, um, scalp massage oils, which are all plant-based, vegan, um, cold expeller, pressed, organic, and natural. Um, I purchase organic when possible. If not, it's natural and it's cold expeller pressed. I don't do anything that is chemically extracted. And then I have Insputter, 
which is amazing a product that you melt like butter onto your hands and then smooth it onto your hair all of my products are natural and I do that because of my scalp issues so here's the thing I'm trying to outthink what I've already experienced what I already know is that I can't I can't use these products but I'm still setting myself up for punishment and this last time I mean it's a great product I mean my hair loved it but my scalp can't to handle it um and you know my skin was completely clear and so when I'm trying to figure out like why did my face break out like you know why are these pimples coming on and guess what the introduction of a new product introduced you know back to allergic reactions and just chaos you know everything just went nuts and so you know what I quit the product and I haven't had any new pimples I haven't had a new breakout um, and my scalp has been completely clear so this is me just letting you know that I'm going to be sticking to my products I'm going to be sticking to the things that are tried and true and work for my hair the reason my hair has gained the length that it's gained and that it's so healthy are my natural plant-based products um, so I'm going to do that, just stick with my products and not do anything but my products and natural oils. I'm going to stick with the apple cider vinegar rinses for my scalp and I can't wait to go on this journey and I urge you that if you have seborrheic dermatitis and you have a scalp that is just driving you crazy that you take this journey with me. I mean if you've already tried everything, you've tried all the medications, you've gone to the dermatologist, like you're at your wits end and you don't know what else to do, join me. I mean what have we got to lose? I think we pretty much have everything to gain. I mean my scalp has proven to me over and over again that it wants me to leave it alone. That does not want any products on it. Nothing complex. That's why I created Ferris's Garden, because it's simple. Everything makes sense. Everything is easy to understand. Only a few ingredients. It really helps your hair to thrive. I mean, my hair is so soft and feels so good right now. And it's only air dried with oil. So I am going to, you know, I don't consider myself a bandwagon type of natural. I don't do things because they're popular and I don't do things because other people are doing them. Um, I do my own research. I have my own mind. I have my own experience. I mean, I'm 18 years at this and I'm still learning. And when I say that I've tried everything, no, I haven't. And that's just the truth. Y you haven't even tried everything. Um, because if 18 years into this and I'm finally at the point where I've surrendered and I'm going to go back to where I was eight years ago when I founded Pharisee's Garden, um, like started going to Whole Foods and buying things and got my hair to thrive, what I've got to stop doing is trying and buying my way to happiness with my hair because I want that perfect wash and go and I think that it is attainable and I'm going to just try it with the water only method so stay tuned i will be keeping you updated don't forget that we're going to be doing the inversion method challenge coming up on april 1st april fool's day but um it's going to be a great day because we're going to be seven days closer to healthy hair that we love so i look forward to sharing this experience with you and i hope that you join me please let me know if you're going to join me um, hashtag Ferrisu, hashtag Ferrisu's Garden, and um, check out my website. You can see the products that I use. I'm um, right now I'm breastfeeding, so I'm only using the liquid sunshine because certain essential oils are not good for breastfeeding mothers or pregnant mothers, and that's clearly um, on my website and clearly marked on my products. And so um, I need my customers to make informed decisions about their hair and what they're doing, um, and. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to be on this journey because all I know is that I'm three days in and my hair feels great. Um, love you guys to pieces and I look forward to this journey with you.